Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. Today we're taking a look at Panoid Android, Android 4.4.4 for the Galaxy Nexus GSM Verizon and Sprint. So I haven't done a ROM review for the Galaxy Nexus in quite a bit. So here I am with Panoid Android. Um, Panoid Android is a very popular ROM, so I went ahead and decided to do this one. And also for another reason, I decided to do this ROM review since it seems this is the final version for the Galaxy Nexus for Panoid Android. Um, for, from what I've been reading from the XDA forums, this is the final version, so um, enjoy it. Um, it's running on the latest Android version, so it's gonna be lasting quite a bit until the new Android L does come out officially. Um, so as you can see, uh, Panoid Android version is 4.41, right there too, so you got all that. And if you're wondering about the blue look, I actually went ahead and applied the theme from the themes right here. So you can go into theme packs and you can actually go and apply multiple types of themes and all that. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded this one, Lumpy, um, and this is the one I actually went ahead and applied. Uh, but you can install multiple ones, so you can just go ahead and tap on get more. And then you can go ahead and see all these different types. Some are free and some are paid. You can even get more from the Play Store as well. So there's a lot of themes you can go and play around with. Um, so this is exact same uh, Synergyma theme uh, showcase thing that's running on Paranoid Android 2. It's built in uh, within Paranoid Android right there. So it's exactly the same as uh, the Synergyma one. You have styles right here. You can get icons if you only want icons, if you only want fonts, if you only want wallpapers, etc. So you can separate them all out or you can easily just go ahead and apply a whole bunch at the same time. So it gives you a lot of options for the themes right there. So that's a nice touch but nothing unique on that part. Um, and you can obviously go ahead and apply the usual holo default one that looks regular, uh, like a regular Galaxy Nexus look. But I prefer this new blue one. It does look a lot better in my personal opinion, and it's a nice dark background for settings and all that. You can see the buttons are changed up too. Um, wallpaper is a little bit different. Navigation bar is a little bit different too, so I'm digging that. Um, also your navigation uh, notification area too. Toggles is a little bit different. When you go ahead and tap down on the notifications right there, you get a blue effect too. So that's really nice. Uh, that's a nice touch. So moving on, you also have documents right here. So this is a sign on my document application on our Panera Android phone. Um, let's see what else. You also have light bulb, which is also you can toggle through it uh, within the toggle section right here. So there you go. It works right there. And you can also go ahead and turn on immersive mode right here, so we can go and turn that on, and now I can go ahead and use Pi Control instead. So I have a full screen phone now, and whenever I do need those navigation keys, I can just easily go ahead and swipe from the bottom. Oh, let's go and try that again. <laughs> uh, there we go. So now you have home, uh, recents, and also back with your time and notifications and all that too, battery and all that good stuff. So you're probably seen that in, uh, in the past too. And you just go ahead and easily swipe up from the top, and you can disable it too. So we'll go and disable it. And now it's disabled, and there we go. Uh, right there, so that's a really nice touch. Uh, let's see what else is included. Let's see any new applications. Um, that's pretty much it for that page. And you also have Paranoid Android over the air. So this is the update um, feature and all that. So it tells you the updates if you are up to date on the latest version. Um, so you don't need to use a computer or constantly check on the forums or keep up with the Google Plus updates and all that. You can just easily use this one. So that's a nice touch. So that is pretty much it for Panoid Android, Android 4.4.4 for the Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. Um, there's not as many features out as I would like, but you're still running on Panoid Android, which is very stable. You still have some pretty neat features that aren't very unique, but there's still nice features that are built directly into Panoid Android. And of course, Panoid Android is really popular, so I'm sure you guys will like it. Hopefully, they'll add more features later on, but I'm not too sure since it does say final on the XDA forum, but um, they're probably going to be unofficial versions and all that good stuff anyway so it really doesn't matter uh, but if you guys did enjoy this content be sure to like and subscribe in the about corner right there do appreciate all the support you guys do give me and i'll leave a link down below for we can go ahead and download this paranoid android version for you galaxy because gsm verizon and sprint in the description down below and don't forget to follow me on twitter facebook and google plus which will be linked down below as well until next time peace